Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I just want to show you how to produce your own maraschino wool uh, socks. Um, you know, these are pretty nice. The wool really uh, helps dry the foot, keeps you warm in the winter, and uh, you know, it's really good for um, you know, keeping the smell down if you got stinky feet. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, so I'm going to go back a couple minutes and uh, I'll walk you through the process. <clears throat> All right, so the first step that you got to do is you got to identify some wool. Um, and this can be hard to come by if you don't have your own, you know, sheep. So what I recommend is actually going to your, uh, your old sack drawer, find one that's good covered in lint, one that's, uh, you know, doesn't have a home. Now what you got to do is you got to find yourself some maraschino cherries. Now you don't actually need the cherry part of it. Um, I find that it kind of breaks the wool up a little bit, doesn't really help very much. But you're going to want to pour the maraschino cherry juice uh, on the sock. Then you're going to want to, you know, really mix it up really well um, this red color you know the the sock that I'm trying to produce right now is a red wing sock so you can see like we're going from white you can see it's starting to get closer to that red wing color um, like I said you know this really cuts down on the smell uh, you know I guarantee you this sock will not smell bad anymore um, so yeah so now what you're gonna do is you know once you get it nice and thoroughly saturated we're gonna leave it for about five minutes and we'll come back and I'll show you what the finished product should look like all right, so it's, it's been about five minutes. You can see that the uh, the maraschino transformation process is complete. It seems like it's uh, soaked up most of the uh, liquid and it's converted the cotton chemically into wool. So now you can you know you can take the take the sock, bring it over, and you're gonna want to rinse it out and uh, thoroughly rinse that bad boy out. So you know although we like the smell of maraschino uh, wool. Um, you don't want it to smell like the maraschino part of the cherry. All right, <clears throat> there you have it. So uh, that is how you convert cotton into maraschino wool. And uh, you know, I'll just do what I did here, repeat the process, and you'll have two lovely maraschino wool socks ready for winter.